Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I wanted to do a different kind of video. So I'm driving back from doing some filming on one of the job sites and one of the guys that's working on the job site got into a conversation with me. And he's a younger guy who just joined the industry with absolutely no experience. And he said he was looking at my channel and he said what would really be nice, especially for guys you know, my age group that don't have any experience, is to have someone put some videos out that really kind of go through what to expect getting into the industry. Not just like what to expect on the job, but then what to expect on a dirt job, what to expect on a paving job, what to expect in a skid steer or when you get in a loader or an excavator, what's the expectation, what do you need to think about, what do you need to be doing? And that kind of got me thinking about what I want to do with my channel. And and for those of you who have subscribed to me for a while, you'll, you'll probably realize I've, I've had a couple different iterations of how I do these videos and, and I've kind of been trying to discover my particular voice on YouTube. And that really kind of struck a chord with me that I don't just want my channel to be equipment videos. I mean, I absolutely love running equipment, watching equipment run, uh, that's really, what kind of started me making these videos, but I've also always wanted to teach more and kind of help build excitement for the new generation coming in. Part of the reason I, I've done this YouTube channel and I've really committed to this YouTube channel, in fact, the reason you see car seats in the back is because we sold my truck so that I could go pursue making YouTube videos about construction equipment. And part of the reason I've wanted to do that is because I don't just enjoy the equipment. Obviously, that's a huge aspect of it. And I think anyone in the dirt industry absolutely realizes that the equipment is a blast. There's no getting around that. It is an absolute blast to be around. It's a blast to run. But deeper than that is I have so much respect for all of the guys in the equipment industry. We commonly get the bad rap that uh, everybody in the dirt industry or any of the skilled trades, honestly, are the guys who couldn't hack at any place else. And through my experience being in the industry, that couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, I would say they're, they're absolutely, we all know guys that are that way. They, are, they couldn't go anywhere else, so they fell into dirt work. But I would say that's by far the minority. I would say the majority of guys that I've known in the excavating industry, and I speak to that because that's the trade I was in, they're some of the smartest guys I've ever met. I mean, they think on a different plane than a lot of other people would. And I just have a tremendous respect for people who have dedicated their life to being hot and sweaty and being exhausted at the end of the day so that they can build our infrastructure and not just build our infrastructure, but maintain our infrastructure. I'd like to do a, a video series on, on the guys that run those sewer trucks that jet the, the sewer lines. I mean, you want to talk about a completely underappreciated, people don't even know they exist group of guys that are dedicated to their trade and are super skilled. I mean, let's walk down that road on another video. But all that to say, like, I want to build excitement in this future generation because skilled trades for so long have gotten such a bad rap of if you can't make it in the college world, you go into skilled trades. And I think the mentality is beginning to shift on that. Micro obviously has done a lot to help with that mentality. It's slowly starting to come around, but still it, there is the stigma that if you can't do anything else, you, you go into the skilled trades, you go into dirt work. And so part of what I want to do is use this channel to build excitement about excavating in particular, because that's my trade. That's what I know. That's what I've spent. I've spent, you know, eight years in the industry running the equipment. I spent two years selling the equipment. That's what I know in and out. And I want to build excitement in that area. And one of the ways I can do this is exactly this, the way this guy was describing is, you know, I would like to start putting out some content on top of the just normal equipment videos. It's kind of a, a down and dirty, here's your basics of what to expect in X scenario. So let me know your thoughts on that. I mean, I'm, I'm totally driving down the road just kind of spitballing right now, but if you guys are okay with me doing more commentary on the videos and doing more FaceTime like this, where I'm not just sitting in my office at home, I tried that for a while, that was unsuccessful, but I think that's partly because who wants to watch me sit in my office and talk forever? But if you guys are up for me doing more commentary and, and really talking about not only what's happening on the job, but also kind of my process of going and getting these videos, kind of the behind the scenes of how I get this footage, absolutely let me know down below and and I'll start gearing it that way because between you and me that would be a lot more fun for me to make it's kind of boring to come home and just edit 20 minutes of a bulldozer running it's that's not very exciting there's not much creativity there but if I can do more of these face-to-face -face commentary videos then by all means I think we're all gonna benefit from it so do me a quick favor first of all hit the subscribe button I'd really appreciate the support and then secondly Please comment down below. Let me know where you guys want to see this channel go. Let me know if you guys would be open to me doing more of that. And if that is the case, let's go forward together and we'll make it happen. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.